Hello Crypto fam, thanks for tuning back to my channel. In today's video, we will be discussing how Soulbound token can help overcome some of the shortcomings in quadratic funding and make quadratic funding a very powerful public funding model. Now we came across quadratic funding when we dissected a paper written on Soulbound tokens in our previous video. I'll give you the link in the description and the link will also appear on the top right corner of this video so you can check that out to understand more on soulbound tokens and the problems that soulbound tokens can solve. Now I have explained quadratic funding in my last video as well and again I'll give you the link in the description so be sure to check it out. Now I'm going to briefly discuss what are soulbound tokens and what is quadratic funding so that those of you who aren't aware can get some context on it. Now soulbound tokens just means non-transferable NFTs. You can't transfer these NFTs out of your wallet. And here the word soul just means a wallet. Essentially, these NFTs are bound to that wallet. Now, why would you want NFT to be non-transferable in first place? When your NFT represents something specific about you, like the university you went, any academic accomplishment, participation in events, etc. These all can be represented by a soul bond token because they are specific to who you are. Next is quadratic funding. Quadratic funding is a more optimal way to fund public goods. Usually people donate to their favorite projects and these individual contributions are then matched by government funds or public grants etc in proportion to the highest number of individual contributions. Which means the project that was funded by large number of people will receive more matching funding even though it may have raised lower amount of funds as compared to some other projects. Now let me show you an example quickly. There are three projects here. Project a, Project B and Project C. All of the three projects have received an equal amount of $1000 from individual contributions. The only difference is the number of individual contributor which is the highest in case of Project C and the lowest in Project B. Now if you see there is a common matching grant of $10,000 and amongst this $10,000 the most of it which is $7,407 went to project C. So what is different in case of project C that it has received the maximum amount of funding almost 740% of the individual contribution amount which was $1000. Now this is the essence of quadratic funding. The amount of matching funds goes towards the project that has the largest number of individual contributors which in this case is project C. Now even though quadratic funding is a very good model for funding public goods, it has its own flaws and let's discuss that. Now I'm going to pull up the paper that was written on soul bound tokens and let me read this. Quadratic funding encourages coordination by offering diminishing rewards to concentrated action of few but increasing rewards to collective action of many. Now what does this mean? Let's go back to our example of quadratic funding. Here you can see that project C has the maximum amount of contributor and hence this is rewarded just because it has the maximum number of individual contributors. That means quadratic funding favors the amount of individual contributors or the number of individual contributors. Okay, this, is, this example is also the same that $1 contributed equally by 10 people is matched by $99 to generate $100 in total while $10 contributed by a single person receives no match. Mathematically this is accomplished by matching funds proportional to the square of the sum of the square roots of individual contributions. This is as per this formula and I'll give you the link of the paper that was written on quadratic funding so that you can read more in details and certain other blog posts as well. Let's get back to where we were and let me read this again. But even weak cooperation say donating one dollar to a cause among large groups say most of the citizens of China would dominate the system and absorb all its matching fund because the premium quadratic funding puts on the number of unique contributors. Okay, so this is very important to understand. Let's say there is a large group of people, let's say China, the most populous country. They can decide something that is in the interest of only their country. And when they are doing any round of quadratic funding, they are going to get 
most of the matching funding because simply they have the largest amount of contributors even though they might contribute very little amount each individual contributor might contribute very little amount so that means quadratic funding doesn't discount coordination among correlated special interests that may swamp a quadratic funding round but instead rewards it this is a very important term to keep in mind discounting coordination we have to discount the coordination among a group now this also comes under the category of civil attacks that we also discussed in our previous videos briefly let me go back to one more article from gitcoin blog and explain this problem of coordination amongst group to sway the results of quadratic funding in their favor more clearly now this is a blog on gitcoin and let's see there has been lots of work happening around civil resistance in gitcoin civil attack simply means that someone could set up many profiles and if they have large amount of funds they can split that up in different accounts and they can move the quadratic funding result in their favor whatever project they want this quadratic funding to receive the most of the funds they can do that by setting up multiple profiles now how can soul bound tokens help quadratic funding let's see you can see imagine that contributors would maintain personal journals with all sorts of soul bound attestations about themselves for example you would get attestations for the grant rounds you participate in the projects you contribute to the github organizations you work with your twitter followings etc etc now remarkably administrators of quadratic funding programs like gitcoin could query this soul bound generals to quantify the cooperation between contributors cooperation we can quantify this cooperation somehow between contributors here is how a simple version of this could work by comparing the intersecting attestations in the general of each pair of cooperating agents now this might sound like too technical or too much to understand now it just means that if we have soul bound tokens attached to those wallets that are participating in this funding round we actually have a way to measure how much these different wallets are related to each other let's say we can know that they are from a certain country and we should also be able to find out if this is controlled by a single entity or a single institution by just comparing how cooperative both the accounts are let's read this suppose a pair of contributors alice and bob share two attestations relevant to the quadratic funding administrators further suppose both have five relevant attestations in total in that case the quadratic funding administrators could quantify their cooperative multiplier as 2 by 5 okay they share two attestations relevant to quadratic funding administrators and they have a total of 5 attestations so it will come out to be around 2 by 5 now this is how you can actually start to calculate this cooperativeness between different people we want to make quadratic funding robust to diverse set of people that means it should not get swayed by the number of individual contributors but rather we want it to be swayed by the diversity of the individual contributor so we want to rule out the possibility in which a group might be related and they try to do a lot of individual contributions to be able to favor what they want so this is not what the goal of quadratic funding is and this is one way by using soul bound tokens and by discounting any correlation between different wallets which are participating in funding to make this quadratic funding even more powerful and that's how that is one way to actually resist civil attacks so ultimately the goal is to make quadratic funding resistible to civil attack and any kind of cooperative movement between large group of people to move funds in their favor and soul bound tokens can exactly help us overcome both these problems so that is it for this video folks i hope you like the video if you did be sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you in the next video bye bye